Imagine this. You wake up one morning and your phone already knows what you're going to do today. It knows when you'll leave your house, whom you'll meet, what you'll buy, and even what you're going to think about next. Sounds impossible, right? What if I told you your phone has been quietly learning all of this about you for years without you ever noticing? Today, we dive into the unsettling truth about how AI in your phone already knows way more about you than you think. Stay till the end, because what I reveal in the final two minutes will change the way you look at your phone forever. Welcome back to the channel. And today's video, it's one we've all been avoiding. Because the question isn't, is my phone watching me? The real question is, how much does it already know? Let's find out. Your phone has three kinds of memory. One, what you tell it. Your messages, your searches, your photos. This is obvious. Two, what you allow it. Your location, microphone, contacts, fitness data. But the real danger is the third type. Three, what you have no idea it's learning. Here's the truth. Your phone doesn't need to record your conversations. It can predict what you'll say just from your patterns. It learns what time you wake up, how fast you walk, how often you scroll, when you get stressed, who you trust, when you're lonely, what triggers your anxiety, your political leanings, your sleep quality, and even your personality type. Not because you told it, but because AI already figured it out. Every swipe, every pause, every app you open creates data. And your phone's AI is constantly analyzing it. Let's talk about location tracking, because this alone reveals more than anything else. Your phone knows where you live, where you work, where you shop, where you travel, what restaurants you visit, where you sleep at night, and who sleeps next to you. If two phones spend the night in the same place repeatedly, AI already knows what's happening without reading a single message. If your phone sees you visiting a hospital multiple times, it can guess your health concerns. If it sees you going to certain stores, it knows your habits, lifestyle, and even income. You don't have to say a word. Your patterns speak for you. There's a type of data called microbehavioral data. This is the creepy part. AI studies tiny things you don't even notice. How hard you tap your screen. How long you hesitate before clicking. How fast you type. How your voice changes when you're nervous. How your face looks when you unlock the phone. How your hand shakes when you're stressed. Your phone builds a psychological profile so accurate, it's better than what your friends know, better than what your family knows, sometimes better than what you know about yourself. Here's where it gets intense. AI doesn't just know who you are. It predicts what you'll do next. Your phone can now forecast. When you'll buy something. When you'll be sad. When you'll start looking for a new job. When you'll be in a relationship. When you'll break up when you're losing interest in something, when your stress levels are rising, and companies use this data to influence you, not by forcing you, but by nudging you, silently, invisibly, toward choices you didn't realize you were being pushed into. Here's the twist. Every app you download, every service you use, every click on allow or accept, you're giving permission. The privacy policy you never read, it's not made for you to understand, it's made for them to legally say, you agreed. Your phone didn't steal your data. You handed it over. Don't worry, this isn't hopeless. Here's how to take back control. Turn off precise location. Apps don't need to know which room you're standing in. Revoke microphone and camera permissions. Most apps shouldn't have these. Disable background app activity. Stop silent data collection. Turn off ad personalization. Cuts down AI predictions. Use privacy respecting browsers and apps. Regularly review permissions. You'll be shocked how many apps track you for no reason. Small changes make a massive difference. Let me leave you with this. Your phone is the most powerful spy device ever created. Not because it's evil, but because it knows you better than you know yourself. The real question is, are you controlling your phone? 
or is your phone controlling you? If you want more videos revealing the hidden truths about technology, AI, and the future, make sure to like, share, subscribe, and stay curious.